Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Sharon Fah is from Faculty of Health Sciences, UITM Selangor, Malaysia. She has 22 years of experience as a registered nurse and 16 years as a nursing educator. She holds a Master of Nursing Sciences from the University of Malaya and recently completed her PhD. Her passion lies in the intervention studies with her work published in indexed journals and receiving accolades such as the third best paper award from the Singapore Medical Journal 2016 and the ninth place in the best paper award from the Environmental Behavioral Journal in 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome T.S. Dr. Sharifa. May I call upon the second chess person, Dr. Regidor Tri Diosko, lecturer from Faculty of Nursing, Lincoln University College. Dr. Regidor III Diosko is currently working with Lincoln University College since 2018, who teaches the medical sciences, nursing, and business students. He was once an emergency and trauma registered nurse at the biggest government owned hospital in Manila, the Philippines, for seven years. Dr. Regidor III has pursued his career in mastering, mastering research and the science of healthcare at the University of Hertfordshire, United Kingdom, last 2012 until 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Regidor. Okay, thank you to our MC. All right, uh, first of all, uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, my name is Dr. Sharifa Shafinas. I'm from UITM, Faculty of Health Sciences, and currently I'm a Master uh, Coordinator for Postgraduate Program. Okay, and together with me today is Dr. Uh, Randy Go. Yes, so. Okay, so both of us who will chair for this session. Okay, so for today's, uh, for this uh, afternoon session, we are going to have 14 presenters. Okay, 14 presenters. So before we start our presentation, uh, let me uh, brief you uh, the uh, instruction for the presenter. So to all the presenters, uh, you will be given around 5 to 6 minutes uh, to do your presentation. And then we proceed with uh, maybe around 2 or 3 minutes for the Q&A session. So during this session, we expect to receive a, qu a question from the audience, okay? So if uh, you all start uh, already, we can start uh, with our first presenter. <clears throat> okay, our first presenter is uh, Mamad, Mamad and Tukiman, with, Tukimin with San Subito. Uh, the title, The Development of Mobile Application Appropriate and Friendly from pre-eclampsia mothers and spouses in eclampsia prevention. Okay, please welcome our presenter. Okay, mm -hmm. so your five to six minutes will be ready. Will be started whenever you're ready. So I pass the session to you and wish you all the best. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Saitam uh, and Dr. Raidiro, that uh, and a good time for this uh, session. Uh, excuse, allow, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mama. Um, I would like to uh, presenting uh, the, my research, uh, my research with uh, my superficial uh, Dr. Tukimin in San Suvito. My title recent, um, is the development of mobile application appropriate and friendly for eclampsia mother and spouses, uh, spouses in eclampsia pregnancy. It's a uh, related of uh, uh, digital error. Um, in Indonesia, it uh, has still high of the maternal mortality rate. So, uh, 
how to um, how to uh, import the for uh, prevention uh, practice. Uh, yeah, we we must uh, import uh, the pregnancy manual, pregnancy manual, and also uh, sponsors in uh, their uh, prevention practice. Uh, and I think uh, it is uh, of the digital era. Digital era is uh, some uh, or um, can affect the reliability uh, related information and education, especially for eclampsia prevention. And now uh, maybe uh, I think it is uh, the solution, yeah, the solution that um, the content, a uh, content. I mean, uh, based on what what. Uh, Mother, uh, eclampsia mother and sponsors one there and then uh, make a friendly application. It is my uh, research objective, so uh, I determined to develop a mobile application that meet uh, the, the need or appropriate yeah, and friendly and it is used for uh, eclampsia mother and sponsors and private uh, uh, yeah. Uh, how to take uh, the the research? Yeah, I uh, I I I do the uh, set, uh, two stages. Uh, the first step is the. Uh, Try to try to identify what they mean the preclassic mother and species for and content. Yeah. It is to have a, a profit of a application. Yeah. And then also try to try to uh, for the second step, yeah, second step, yeah, I try to uh, Collaborate. Yeah, I mean the collaborate with ISD uh, to design. Yeah, to design of uh, application, uh, and then uh, try to try to um, test the yeah, usability of uh, application by uh, using uh, ten item. Ten item in the form of schema analysis or schema uh, questionnaire. Uh, is them yeah, there are uh, five categories uh, for uh, five categories. I mean, uh, strongly agree, agree, and 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 disagree, and strong disagree. And the result will find the positive response, neutral, and negative response. And then, mm, as uh, my research ever give, yeah, this to answer, to answer, to answer of the research. Uh, Goal, I mean, the set objective. There are two uh, set objective. The first uh, result, the, the first uh, set objective, yeah, this is um, the contact mobile application need for appropriate related application presented. We, I can uh, the result. <coughs> we can uh, get here uh, all of, all of item, yeah, twenty item. A class statement indicates uh, more than seventy percent was strongly needed. Sponsors, uh, uh, the sponsors strongly need, uh, uh, particularly they say they want, yeah, the implicit item cause of uh, preclampsia and eclampsia. What should uh, sponsors do? Put permanent put during pregnant and also information of the telephone number of a uh, health worker and or government uh, midwife uh, respectively 70 uh, I mean uh, 91 point percent and for example mothers uh, they want our uh, strongly need about the other pregnant danger sign represent for maternity financing uh, for women of children Present in the uh, uh, 70 76 point eight percent and have worker uh, the definition of eclampsia and eclampsia the 
and the explanation of why you have to take medicine are uh, 82.1%. And to answer the second call, uh, this question is uh, after all of items need related to eclampsia prevention, I mean the appropriate, then uh, it didn't uh, make a uh, overall collaborate with IT and design. It is a menu application and then try uh, and then try our uh, uh, testing, yeah, usability testing using the SCAR equation. Yeah, the result, the results, preclamsy mother and sports respond positive to mobile application in eclampsia prevention or friendly or uh, familiar to uh, application. And here is a uh, conclusion. There are the conclusion uh, uh, based on the goal or uh, set objective that uh, mobile application approved content need. And then the second, uh, based on the uh, objective, mobile application use friendly. And then put the more, we uh, need support by uh, policy maker and carry out mobile uh, monitoring and information of the consistency application. Okay? And then uh, here are the references, summary references. Thank you, uh, that's all. Thank you for our first presenter. So we now we open for question and answer session. Any question? No question. All right. Okay, thank you to Mama. I would like to call upon our second presenter, Nur Cahaya Nain Golan. Okay, uh, with the title, The Efficacy of Cathode Leaf on the Quantity of Breast Milk in Postwater Mothers.
Chahaya, you may start now. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Thank you for the all. My name is Mocha Chahaya Golan from Medan, Indonesia. I'm sorry, my name is not from the group. Uh, if you have any question, saya akan untuk menjawab bahasa Melayu. Thank you. Uh, my title today, I want to present the efficacy of Kato Lip on the quantity of breast milk uh, in postpartum mothers. Insufficient breast milk quantity is a common complaint expressed by mothers, especially in the first week of postpartum. Many mothers use medical drugs to increase the quantity of breast milk. Medical drugs contain many substances that will harm the organs in the body include discarding kidney and liver function so that it becomes an obstacle to consumption. Quantitative experimental method, quasi-experiment without a control group with a process design method. Effect of cattle live on milk quantity in postpartum mothers be value less than 0 0.005. There is one respondents who explored the problem of lack of breast quantity were those who breast milk less 10 times as many as 30 people uh, or 26 0.7% and the lack of breast milk or suspended who experienced the problem of lack of breast milk quantity who breast milk less than uh, 15 minutes as many as 50 people or 100% based on the risk of risks before and after giving catalysts to postpartum mother. There is an effect of giving catalysts on um, breast milk quantity with a baby value of 0 0.0. So the baby value is 0 0.05. So who is reaching? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Haya. So we open for the question and answer session. Any question from the floor? Okay. Uh, I'd just like to know. Or not. 
that equation. So if you are taking n uh, after taking, so it will affect the first milk after the delivery. It will affect or not because it has a very high fats are there. Yeah. So it will help or it has any uh, deficiency or anything is there. Um, you have Uh, any effect to cholesterol? Ada apa apa kesan kepada cholesterol? Uh, sebelumnya di dalam kartu ini saya jelaskan dulu sen, uh, bahwa di uh, kandungan daripada dalam kartu ini adalah beberapa vitamin uh, seperti uh, vitamin uh, A, uh, B, um, ada beberapa vitamin yang berpengaruh yang mana dia adalah fitosterol atau sterol yang ada kandungan di dalam tubuh. Nah, kemudian yang mana dalam kartu ini dapat meningkatkan produksi yang mana hormon prolaktin, hormon prolaktin dan oksitosin yang memiliki peranan penting pada proses uh, produksi asli. The content of the cattle leaf can improve the production of the milk based on her based on her study, I think, based on her reading from your literature review, right? So it means that it will help even for the cholesterol. Any other effect? For the cholesterol. Oh yes, dia akan mempengaruhi produksi asli. Dia punya memiliki beberapa kolesterol yang sangat berpengaruh ataupun untuk membuat kekebalan pada tubuh bayi. And it is legal to use this leaf anywhere in Indonesia. You can use very freely this leaf. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So based on her study, she can conclude that the, the, the use of the kato leaf can improve the breast milk production, right? Yes. So I think maybe for the future study, you can improve in terms of method, I think. Yeah. Uh, now you use the cross-site experimental, maybe next time you can use the randomized control trial with two groups, control and also intervention group, to see the effect of the kato leaf. Okay. Uh, any other question? Can you show us?